you coined one of the most famous uh, catchphrases in history. I pity the fool. Mm -hmm. What's interesting is I read an article with you once where you said that when you pity the fool, you consider that an, an act of kindness. To oh, pity yes. The fool. oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! I didn't. I always took it as I pity the fool means I want to kill the guy. No, 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 no. When you pity somebody, you're showing them mercy. Because mm. I didn't start this pity stuff. Mm. It was in the Bible. Mm. You know, you find pity so many times in the Bible and fool so many times. So I put them together. <laughs> pity the fool. Because a lot of a lot of guys in the Bible was asking for pity. Yeah. You know, and then a lot of them were saying I did a foolish act. Right. So I put it together. I didn't realize you did all this research oh, before yeah. you came up with I pity oh, yeah. the fool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now oh, yeah. you have trademarked the phrase. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is this right, Mr. T? You trademarked the phrase exactly. I pity the fool. Exactly. So what happens if someone uses that in a commercial? Oh 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 man. Oh my people are gonna be on them. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Right. They, that's that's part of Mr. T retirement fund. Right. When, when, that's when that's when T come stands for take you to court. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. My attorneys, my attorneys be waiting. They be waiting on fools to do something like that. All right. Oh yeah. So if someone else says, if you saw me and I did a commercial and I went, I pity the fool that doesn't eat cocoa puffs, what would happen to me? No, I wouldn't, you know, because we buddies. I would call you up. Say, hey Conan. Yeah. You know, I figure me and you can work it out be before we go to court. 